Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Wednesday, February 21st, 2018. My name is Alicia, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Listen up, fangirls. Please remember to wear your fangirl shirt to the Open Door Mission this Saturday. You can bring a fan or a family member. We will work at the Timberlake Outreach Center from 1030 to 1230. Be sure to check your email from Ms. Packard for maps and information. Students, keep bringing in those bob tops. The PTO's box top competition is still going on and will conclude this Friday. Remember the team with the most box tops will win a pizza party. Good luck. Attention all National Junior Honor Society members. We are in need of more books for the book drive. Please bring books to Ms. Tooting's Portable 6 or leave in the office. Remember, all members will need to donate at least two books. The books should be suitable for grades pre-kindergarten through sixth grade. As a reminder, our field trip is on March 2nd, and all permission slips are due in the office by this Friday. That's it for the announcements today, Bobcats. Let's head over to Brandon and Connor for two quick news stories on a new animal calling Omaha home and a big event that recently took place here at Buffett. <laughs> Last Tuesday, a very special event took place during the home basketball game. Student Council hosted the, an the annual Blue Out Spirit Game. During the event, they sold blue necklaces for $1, offered free popcorn for any student who brought in canned, a canned food item, and encouraged students to show school spirit by wearing blue. The Bobcats faced off against the Lewis and Clark Trailblazers with a team victory 44-17, to and B team a, a loss of 2-17. to this continued, this continued A-team's undefeated season with an impressive win already this season against Norris, Lewis and Clark, Mars, Beveridge, Bryant, and Nathan Hale. as a way um, for students to show um, unity and to have fun at the basketball game and to help our team um, and win and have good sportsmanship. Well, the purpose of the Blue Out is that Student Council sponsors it, obviously. And so the other team can like come in and see that almost all of the stadium is filled with blue so they know that like we're supporting our school. A very special animal now calls the Henry Dolly Zoo home. On January 28th, a red panda from the Detroit Zoo was moved to Omaha. This is the first red panda our zoo has had in 20 years. The panda's name is Tofu and can be found in the cat complex, where it is terminally being held being held on display until its permanent home at the Asian Hi Highlight Exhibit th is ready in this summer. As of right now, she is the only red panda, but but the zoo is planning to bring to bring two more in the near future. So, Bobcast, it's time to form your opinion. What other animals do you want to see in the zoo? What's up, Bobcats? This is Gage here in the Sports Zone to get you updated on all things sports. Today is Wednesday, which means it's time to check out a specific play, athlete, or sport. Today, we will be checking out Chloe Kim. Chloe Kim is an American snowboarder from Torrance, California, who is currently competing in the Winter Olympics. She's found a lot of success in the games already, winning an Olympic gold medal for the USA. What you are watching is her gold medal run which earned her a score of 98.25 out of 100. This was her third year on the half-pipe snowboarding team. She was a four-time X Games win gold medalist and the first woman to win a gold medal in the Winter Youth Olympics Games. Speaking of the Olympics, let's check out the U.S. medal count. 
as of filming this broadcast, Team USA has the five gold medals, three silvers, and four bronzes. Moving over to local sports coverage, be sure to go cheer on our Buffett Boys swim team as they compete against Morton after school. Good luck, swimmers. That's all the time in the sports zone. Now let's head over to the entertainment corner. Good afternoon, Bobcats. This is Sean bringing you the coverage of everything important to you in your free time. Welcome to the Entertainment Corner. Today we are going to be checking out the world of apps. As you know, the Olympics are still going on. We found an app that gives you 30 minutes of free Olympic watch time. It is called NBC Sports and the app is free. After your 30 minutes, you can sign in with your TV provider, then you can have unlimited time to watch the Olympics. The app can be found on both the, on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. That's all the time for in the Entertainment Corner for today. Now let's head over to Twitter to see what our teachers are tweeting about. It looks like the wheel has landed on Anchor Choice. This means we'll be taking a break from our list and making out our own topic. For today, we'll be showing off an anti-bullying PSA our broadcasting students recently created. For this project, BBTV reporters took an inspiration from the Joyful Heart Foundation. Check it out. I'll say something next time. 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 That's going to do it for our broadcast today, Bobcats. For more info on many of the stories you have heard and to see what we are working on on future episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page, at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Alicia. Have a terrific day, Bobcats.